let's say the thing that we both know gonna take these words and make them so this is my question can a 12,000 watt generator run a photon AC? Let's find out. But first, I'm going to do the electrical installation. The material that I'm going to be using in this video is a power inlet box rated for 50 amp, an interlock 63 cable, and a double 50 amps breaker. This kit came with all you need to get it installed instruction, drill bit, and lock type. I know on the edge of town. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, low tight to get to it for the instruction. And the installation is complete. With the power off, I'm gonna install the 50 amp breaker, which is very simple. That's it. So according to the interlock instruction, uh, it's recommended to install these zip ties around the, um, these two breakers at the top with this label, which I really don't know why, but I'm just gonna do it. If uh, someone knows the reason, please uh, let me know in the comments. So full disclaimer, I'm not an electrician, so don't take this uh, installation as the way to do it. This is the way that I think has to be done. But if you see anything that I'm doing wrong, please let me know in the comments so I can fix it. So far it's very straightforward installation. Cable gland on the box, so the cable is tight and secure. Ground goes to the ground bar, neutral to the neutral, and the two main leads go into the 50 amp breaker. So before I uh, hooked up the generator and see if actually it's working or not, I'm going to put the panel back on and just for safety. So this is the way the interlock works. While the mains is open, I cannot turn on the breaker for the generator. In order to do that, I need to turn off the mains, lift the interlock, and turn out the uh, breaker for the generator. And at the same time, I cannot turn on the uh, mains breaker unless I shut off the uh, generator breaker. So this is how the 50 amp connector looks like. This cable is actually thicker than a water hose. So, before I put any load on the generator, I'm gonna start up the engine to warm it up for five minutes. So, breaker out down, choke. Between baby. Since I'm planning keeping both generators, the small one, 6500, and the 12,000 watts, uh, what I bought it, it is this um, cable adapter so I can connect the small generator, 30 amps, into the 50 amps uh, electrical box. 
That way, in case uh, the big one fails or something happens, I can always have a backup. And the reason why I'm keeping both generators is because if I need power during winter, I'll definitely use my little Honda 6500 watts because it can run my entire house, including the furnace. Now, if I would need power during summer, I'll definitely run the Champion because uh, as we just saw, it can run the AC. So that will make a huge difference. Do all the things that old folks do. Oh no.